It wasn't that long ago that the hatchback was out of favor in America, but now they're coming back. Think of the Volkswagen Golf, the Ford Focus hatchback, the Mazda 3, and of course the upcoming Honda Civic hatchback, and this, the Chevy Cruze. And we're going to take this bad boy for a ride and find out just why the hatch is making a comeback. And that is coming up right now. Under the hood, of course, it's a turbo. It's a 1.4 liter that puts out 153 horsepower and 177 pound-foot of torque. It is put in the car transversely, so it powers the front wheels, and it is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission. Now, this car is identical, except for the hatch, to the Cruze that I recently reviewed. You can watch that review by clicking up there. And this is one of those cars that has some European DNA in it. Think of this as being very similar to a European Astra. And in fact, in Europe, this car has never been sold only as a sedan. Only in America was the last generation of Cruze a sedan. But in Europe, the Astra, of course, was always a hatchback. Are you a hatch guy or are you a trunk guy? I've always been a hatch man myself. I kind of like the curvaceous shape of the hatch. Plus, look at this spoiler. You can't put that kind of junk on a trunk. Come on, come on. You know, it's uh, quickish. I think for a commuter car, a car that you would use on a daily basis to drive, it's just fine. I'm sitting behind myself and in the sedan, I sort of kind of fit in the back seat. Now, in the hatchback, I sort of kind of fit, but with a little bit more elbow and a little bit more knee room, making it a little bit more comfortable for your backseat passengers. Perhaps that's why Chevy charges an $1,100 premium for the hatchback. Or perhaps the reason that Chevy charges more for the hatch is because hatches are cool and very practical. Check this out, you've got a 40-60 folding seat, you've got 47.2 cubic feet of space back here, enough room for two big hammer bags, or perhaps they're just cool. Andre has a hatch. Andre, come on over here. Yep. You've got a golf hatch. Why do you like the hatchback? Well, because I can go to the farm and pick up potatoes. All right, I guess that's a thing. What do you do with the potatoes? Mashed potatoes. You use mashed potatoes? Yes, to eat. To eat in Russia. All right, I'll go with that. We've got the important numbers right here. 31 combined. It's pretty amazing. 28 city, 37 highway, and of course, an asset price of $29,465. Once upon a time, the Lonely Hatch was the entry level model into the automotive world, but not anymore. Check this out. You've got really nice French stitching and leather. You've got this thick and meaty leather wrapped steering wheel. Okay, there are still some remnants of kind of plasticky bits, but for the most part, the interior of this Chevy Cruze hatch is a really nice and elegant place to spend a lot of time. I love the practicality. I love the fact that I can get a bicycle in the back. I can get five adults in here for a short journey, or maybe a baby seat and a baby stroller for a young couple that needs a little bit more room than just a regular trunk a regular sedan will provide. Yes, it's a fun car, and especially in this red color, it's pretty close to being hot. Okay, all right. Hot hatch, not quite, but certainly the look is there. So why is this Cruze almost $30,000? Well, it's the premier model and it's stuff full of both luxury and technology. For instance, I've got lane keep assist, I've got blind spot warning, I have emergency braking, Apple CarPlay, full leather, a heated steering wheel, you name it, this vehicle has it and that's why the sticker is as high as it is. You know that hatches are back because at just under $30,000, this Chevy Cruze RS is certainly priced at a premium level, which means that Chevy is betting that you guys are willing to pay more for the convenience and the practicality and the coolness factor of 
a hatchback. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news views and of course, real world reviews. And guys, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this review. And if you wanna watch another video, well, click over there. We'll give you the cruise sedan video to watch and down here to subscribe. See you next time, ciao.